Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've missed you guys, but I'm back with new videos. Here is my fall look slash winter. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, keep watching. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown. And this is the Brow Wiz. This is actually my first time using it on one of my videos because I wanted to see how it was going to turn out. You know, just more simple because I know everybody doesn't use gels. A lot of people like to use the pencil, so I figured I'll try it out on one of my videos to see, you know, if I like it, if you guys like it, or if it helps anybody, you know, who uses a pencil, help, you know, so you can see exactly how I would do it if I was using a pencil. So, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow waves and dark chocolate. So here I'm just filling in my brows. I didn't make them extra thick. I kind of followed my own hair. Sometimes I do go outside. And now I'm going to just clean it up with the color Fawn and Lily Pogo. And this is the concealer. I use that just to clean up the brows, make them look nice like so. Now sometimes I use the darker up top so I don't have that ghostly shadow. But that's when you really can see. <laughs> that's a little lazy. So I'm like I just use now use my foundation to cover it up. mistakes as I go along. Now, like I said in previous videos, you don't have to do it the way I do it. This is just the way I do it. I think it could be helpful for anyone who's just starting out. Just to give you a guide. They are a little jacked up after I looked at it, you know. With all of a sudden, I'm like, eh, I'll roll with it. It's really hard to do eyebrows in the mirror. I don't think it's a big It's everything in the small mirror, I should say. Perfect, it'll be the same. Just similar. Get rid of those dark spots, girl. I'm using Po Girl Concealer, and that's in orange. That's just to cover up dark spots. Now, I don't use this. I usually have this just for clients that want to hide um, dark spots. I usually just use my foundation when I go through this process. Trying to block out the dark spots. I just figured, you know, since I'm doing the start to finish, it helps them. So just make sure you blend it out really well. And the foundation will cover it, but just make sure you blend it out. But makeup blending is key. And now I'm using my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation by MAC and NC50. Cosmetic brush. I just got that brush set and I was trying it out to see if I like it. It's a pretty nice brush set, I must say. 
will feature that in one of my favorite videos. Long wear concealer in C45 by Matt. I'm like, oops, yep, I like to add the fawn with it. It gives it more coverage to add both of them, and it's not too thick. Like I said, this is just something I do. You don't have to do it like me. It's just how I like it. I'm covering my eyelids with the remainder because it's on the sponge. I don't put extra on my eyelids. And I'm going to set that with my banana powder. to avoid creasing. That's why I do it right after I apply the concealer. I go ahead and put the powder to set it so it doesn't crease as much. And I did use a separate sponge for that as well. Boom, boom, boom. I don't set the front of my cheekbones because I don't have to use them. Just my eyes and the front of my eyes. I know I look scary, but I promise you it's going to all come together. Now I'm using my Ebony Bronze Bronzer by CoverGirl for the collection. And my It Cosmetic Brush. I'm using it to contour. Because when you wear foundation and you start applying concealer, it starts to make your face look flat. So you want to add that color back to your face so that your features can pop out. So I love to contour and highlight because it brings out my eyes. Do it, gotta do it. And I'm still using the Ebony Bronze Bronze. I'm just using the Sedona Lace Brush. I'm using the sleep 
Cosmetic Contour Kit, and that's in deep black. And I don't always use this step to perform this step, but I don't want a little extra cheesy. My cheekbones, yes, yes, yes. I like it. A little more definition. Remainder on, on the brush that is I use now. That is so important. You do not want to walk around with <laughs> dark lines on your face. You know, this should just blend together. Blend together. natural than anything. When you have your makeup on, you know your face is beat. But it's going to be natural. Not too harsh. Now I'm using my mineralized skin finish in dark by now. And I use that to set some of my under eyes. I'm using my forehead, my vomit center of my nose. And I do that to get that white cast off my face from the banana powder. And it brings more of my skin. Now I'm using my deep dark mineralized skin finish by MAC, and that's to set my contour. And any other areas that I didn't cover with the dark. I'm going to use my chestnut dip pencil by MAC. Trace out my lips there. I'm trying to make them a little more clear. It helps the lipstick clean too. I'm using Whirl lipstick by MAC and it's a matte finish. This has become one of my favorites to use with everything. I'm using my raisin brush by MAC as well. I know I use a lot of MAC products. But it seems to go best with my skin complexion and it agrees with my skin with less breakouts. I'm using my painterly paint pot by MAC. And I'm using that as a base for my eyelid so that my eyeshadows will stay all day and also give it a pop. You can actually see the real color of it. And now I'm using saddle. And I always use that as my transition color. And now I'm using brown down by MAC. And I'm using it for my outer V. And I'm taking it in a little more because I am going to use another color. Out of me and work my way in with it and blend it in into the saddle. Time you add, you want to find out. I'm using my other shadow by Mac. I cannot say that name, so I will not even try it. <laughs> but I'm using it for my outer V to darken darken it up a bit.
using in the bar. Eyeshadow by Nick. And then placing it right in the eyeshadows to blend them out because I want it just to be a tad bit darker. Using Sumptuous Olive by Matt from the Hybrid. And also put in a tear bit. And this is uh, olive greenish color. I know it's showing a little lighter than that. Down again. I'm using my tattoo liner to give it a little wing going. You guys know how I love my wing liner. to focus on making it perfect because I'm still going to darken it up a little more. Darken it up for the eyeshadow so my wing doesn't have to be perfect. But I wanted you guys to see how Back and go back and forth and touch it up and you know try to make them look similar to one be too far from the other. Now I'm going with Dancing in the Dark by Mac. I'm going to use to darken it up like I said. Darken it up in those areas. Early on the outer bead, closer to the wing. I'm sorry, eyeshadow. I'm using Dior Show Mascara. my glow kit and that's from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using that as a highlight. And I'm using my Becca highlighter just to go over it a bit. And a little brighter into the areas. <laughs> I'm just checking it out to see if I like it pretty much. I love it myself. Now I'm applying my lashes. Giving me a hard time. <laughs> All right, so I decided that the green wasn't as green as I would like it to be, so I used the Morphe palette and use a green eyeshadow just to go over it, so you see more green color. It was just looking goldish, 
to me. And even on camera, I was looking a little too cold. So I'm like, that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. This is fall time. Mm -hmm. So I'm using some of the black shadow. Also from work, just to deepen and darken up that crease area. Sometimes you have to give them bad and stuff to get the look you want, the look you're going for. Here's a dark option, dark lip option, and that's Film Noir by MAC, just in case you like to darken up your lips a little bit, that's a nice alternative. 